I'm going to use one of my Taipo beads. It's lenticular. Um, and that's really nice because if you're wearing a bead and it's very big and round and somebody hugs you, it can really hurt. Now we've got two little silver beads to go on either side of it, which just gives it a little more style. Just frames it nicely. So here we are. We've got our beads on. Now get, make sure that your thread is nice and straight and untwisted. Okay, that's very, it's pretty important, actually. And then you take your two ends. You've got your, it's just a round. You take your two ends and cross them over. Now this side here is about, oh, it's a good four inches or more. And I'm going to bend it over and leave a loop. And then I'm going to hold that loop quite tight and start to wind the other one around it and get it back to the end of the loop. Now you really have to hold those coils in place to do that. You just keep winding and eventually you just put that little end through the loop and push the rest of the coil up until it's tight and the loop has actually come down and held has really got a grip on that little point there then you go to the other side and make sure that there's no twist in your cord and pull it down if you need a little bit more because this is already sliding so then you take your thread making sure that there's no crossover there and let me do that again. Got to make absolutely sure. Then you take your thread and bend it back again, the same amount. Have that little loop. Wind your cord, holding it nice and tight around, and just keep turning it till you get to the loop. I want to tell you that the, this knot was used originally in Africa to make elephant hair bracelets. Africans used to tweak the hair out of the tail of an elephant and then make bracelets, and this was the knot they used. Just a little piece of amusing information. Now, the fact that this is long doesn't matter because you can cut it off because the end is very firm and securely held. So you don't have to have a great big old flap like that. You can cut it off quite close on both sides. Not a problem. So now you have your sliding knot on each side. So when you, when you want to put it on, you open it up. And when it's around your neck, you can tighten it to whatever length you want. This is a classic, but it's a great way to wear a bead. Hello, Marie-Thérèse. C'est une paire magnifique, non? Here are some other ways to go with the slidey knots. This is an anklet or a bracelet, and you would use a thread of 16 inches for this. And here are two necklaces that I made for a national company years ago. Hundreds of them I made, and everyone sold. But the point in showing them to you is, is because they're, you know, they've just got two colors in each bead. I mean, imagine, with a, with a, if you're a beginner, you can start by making a really pretty informal necklace easy to wear. I would suggest that you use a thread longer than a yard by about three inches to accommodate the knots in, in the necklace. Um, so here's the one with the five beads. And then look at this. It's just black and white, but doesn't it? You know, you can imagine. It's just so easy to wear for the summer and such a great way to show your beads. So, Marie Therese, are you ready for this? Think of the possibilities here. You could do this whole theme in red, green and gold. Or you could make beads that were like planets. And again, you can just make it a beginner's necklace and it can be the very first necklace you make with your very first beads.